everyone. <clears throat> 7.30 on our way down to the shop. This is a grey day but it's supposed to warm up later on. Uh, we've got oh, Darren's Mini coming in later. Got a load of kicker products to do on it. We've got speakers from Boo Rock, we've got key stuff, um, under seat subs, loads of stuff going on. It's going to be a rootin' tootin' busy kicker day again. Excited for this one. Small car, lots of speakers, amplifier, processor. It's going to be good. Um, we've gone up a bit on subscribers. We're at um, 2350, which is great. And all the boys have been commenting, uh, which is awesome. Thank you very much. I did see the uh, the comment this morning about the base controller. It's like a warranty safe car. We've got to do everything removable. We can't drill. We can't cut. I would not. <coughs> I would not really have the base controller in that location out of choice. Other than I can't drill it anywhere and I can't put it anywhere that is going to look kind of hidden away like like normally we do it. Um, it's, it's a double-sided sticky pad onto the only pretty much smoothed area of that dashboard that has kind of like a cover, like a cubby, that I can put it, she can use it, and she can reach it. Obviously, she's not a big girl, she's only small. Um, so it has to be within the binnacle area, and it's not going to go here, because that would just interfere with her leg, potentially hurt her if she had an accident. So I like the I like the NAF, NAF location for the base controller comment like dude what do you want me to do with it where should I put it like you give me your opinion <clears throat> it's the best of a bad situation unfortunately and it's usable but thank you for the um thank you for the comment I appreciate your your input gonna get some breakfast gonna go with a porridge and a coffee again today um I don't think we're due any bad weather today. It's supposed to be like a grey start and then it's supposed to get better today and tomorrow. It's supposed to be alright and then the weekend we're back to rain and whatnot. Um, but we've seemed to have some southerly wind blowing up a load of warm air. So I think this weekend then on about like 16, 17 degrees on Friday, which should be interesting for November. Anyway, off to the shop. See you soon everyone. Morning boys. Nearly the weekend. Morning everyone, how are we doing? Right, so we've got our first one in, the, I say first one, the only one today, Mini. Um, here he is, so factory system, it's a basic kind this one, so it doesn't really have the navigation screen, it's a basic radio, so it's got basic audio. There are no rear speaker um, uh, grills or anything in the quarter panel, so it's like basic spec car. So we've got the normal mid-range in here, we've got the underseat sub stroke, mid driver um, down there. So we're going to do a coaxial with our Boo Rock stuff. So we're going to have a coaxial going into the car, that one there, and then under seat subs, I'm going to change them for these. And we're also going to put key 200.4 on the whole system um, to have it all sounding swish and lovely. Um, his wife doesn't know this is happening, so we've got to basically hide the equipment out of sight, out of mind, so nothing is visible. So I'm kind of thinking, to be honest, we've got a lot of space in behind this panel here. So what I'm going to do is probably get the key 200.4 hidden in here. Um, change the speakers. Um, this won't matter. You'll see from here that this will be different, but it will be behind the factory grill. And then the same again with the under seats. Underneath it will be different, but it won't tell what's happened to it. So other than the sound being absolutely amazing, that's all that's going to show. So we've got to get the equipment fitted first, um, take the car apart, remove the seats, obviously get the get the grills out and that kind of stuff, get fitting, put the stuff in, and then we've got to go through the process of wiring and tuning. So a nice day with this. Um, I will come back to you in a bit. See you soon.
Right then guys, first sub done. Um, got there in the end. We trimmed a little bit of carpet out the way just because that does sit over the edge of the subwoofer and I don't quite like that, the sub rubbing on it. But there's the factory one. You know, all the dust sits upside down like that in its basket. But our new subs sit the right way up. And this is a, probably say it's a 17 centimeter, 16 centimeter mid driver. But obviously now we've got an eight inch sub in there. So that's one. We're now gonna move on to the other side. Um, so same again, take out the four screws, remove the screws of the sub, pop the sub out, put our sub in, screw it down, connect it up, hide the cabling down here. And that's the seats done. And then that one's already put back in. This one then gets the same treatment. And then we're onto the doors and then dash. Fun times, see you in a bit. Right then guys, both under seat subs are done. Um, that yellow thing there obviously contains all the airbag information for the seat. So if your seats are unplugged, don't activate the ignition with them unplugged. You just bring on fault codes and lights. So seats are done, back in, screwed down. We've got our under seat rubbish out. Trim the carpet as normal. Now we get to start on these pathetic little things. So we're gonna take the door card apart get the speaker out, change that over. Once they're done, then we're basically removing that panel over there, taking the radio out the top of the dash, and then start on the um, connections for the key. Nice and simple. Flying along. Good this morning, see you soon. Right then everyone, doors off. Look at these bad boys. They are very nice. Mm -mm -mm. Look at them, sweet little things. <clears throat> Sometimes, gotta be careful with BMWs like this handle grip here. This thing snapped, so that's supposed to stay in the door and lock itself in in a square. Um, and as you put your screw into it, they break, fall in the door and then the handle doesn't close. So just be careful of that. So there's our front door speaker. We're gonna change it for a Boo Rock. We're gonna get the speakers. So this one's having the BR303F BR for front. There you go. So let's just compare. So BMW plug there, same, same. Tweeter, mid-range. Same small magnet that's gonna fit in the door, not cause a problem. Same height, same size. Just a better speaker. So we're gonna stick these in. We got a little terminal. And then we're gonna pop him in. Sit him in the door. Doesn't that look better already? 100 times better. Put all of the screws located first. Before we gun them up. Pre-holes drilled so we don't need to do a new one. I know what I'd rather have in my car. Stay. One of them. So, 
speakers, front and back, now done. Or should I say, doors and under seat subs are done. Now we're gonna move on to the key 200.4. So, because this is such a small little unit, obviously we've got to set our dip switches up on this side, get them set correctly. And we've got our power plug and our speaker output on there and we've got our RCA in or high level input so you can cut them off and then you've just got speaker cables to attach to. Now we've taken down this trim here now that would normally sit up there but we have basically where this sticker is there's a big void behind here and this key will sit just up inside there perfectly like that and then we've got our stereo out. That's down there. So we've got, oh, let me just grab you in. So we've got a radio out there and we've got a fully populated quad lock we can work with. So we can just get our ins and outs from that. So we extend the cables across to here. Nice neat install, that'll be there. Plug our microphone in, put that on the driver's headrest and basically set the car up for a tune. Um, and that's it, pretty much ready to go. So we're going to get this mounted, do our extensions of our wires over to our Y lead and back. So it'll be sound in, sound out, and then that'll go to the factory system. We tune it off the mic. Job done. So I'm going to crack on with this. I'll come back to you in a bit. Uh, it's 11 o'clock, so we are flying today. Good job too, because he turned up an hour late. <laughs> our fully populated quad lock adapter. So this is what we call normally like a Y harness or a T harness, designed to either put in things like phone kit installations and stuff like that. But what you've basically got is cabling through and through, but you've got ins and outs for your speakers and power. So the great thing about this is we can use the speaker ins, the speaker outs, run that into the BMW harness, that into the head unit, and then we've basically got a seamless interaction without chopping any of the factory wiring harness. So we'll extend this, run that down to our key harness. Job done, see you in a bit. guys last time's done had a tuna sandwich right so we've got our lead made here is our Y harness so we've got our ins our outs obviously same from the key one in one out then all we've got to do is wire up these three so we've got earth remote turn on which we're not going to use um, because this doesn't have a remote output so we'll cut that off and it will just be on DC offset so as soon as the speakers start making noise this will switch on stuff so we've got power and ground today that's ready to go in the in the car um and then all from there we've got to do is just plug in the microphone put it on the seat tune it nice and simple 
So we're going to get cracking on this. I'll come back to you in a bit when we are in, installed and ready to set up. See you in a sec. Done, it's not done. So just having a listen to it and I noticed there's a vibration this side down here. Now because of where the plugs sit, I'm pretty sure that it's this banging on the chassis. So we get some foam tape, cover the plug up so it can't vibrate and oscillate against the car's body. No point having good speakers and a key if the next problem you have is you're then trying to stop car rails. So we'll coat that in foam, put it back under its little location, and make sure he's quiet before we pop the chair back down. Last thing you want to do is increase vibration into a nice new system that you've just fitted and then it sounds... Yeah, exactly. Right, I can't turn it on just yet because I've still got me, uh, my seat airbag off. Get that in location. Screw this down. Sounds wicked, by the way. Um, you'll never pick it up on the camera. I could upload some music and stuff, but you'll never really hear the real difference of it. But compared to what it was before, um, it's got proper depth. You've got like a really nice low bass note in the car. Um, the highs are a lot better now. We actually have full on tweeters rather than just Garbage! Just got rear bike plug in. when you're manually, man, manually pulling them around. I've caught my hand in there one or a few times. You do scream. <laughs> Don't ever do these up all the way, it's my little tip. You get them located and then jiggle the seat round. Once you've found all the holes, then you screw them in tight. If you uh, gun them up straight away, and the, the frame is kind of out of sync. They won't, they won't ever find the front hole, so you've got to have this kind of adjustment. Just put your seat belt in. Oh, can't find the hole. Got two kids, Alex, what are you on about? <laughs> and send it. Turn it on. Check. Sick. That's it. Job done, guys. Right then, dudes. Uh, half five. Nearly, we're done. Um, I got a chance to have a little bit of a tidy up today. Um, I've just had the Lotus running, it smells wonderful in here. Oh, petrol, <laughs> really, really rich. Um, so yeah, getting ready to shut up shop today. She, 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 she shut up shop today. Um, Minnie's done, gone, picked up. 
Dude loves it, really happy. Um, just what you wanted. He's got a BMW with Harman Kardon. Um, and funnily enough, he just, the first words that come out of his mouth were, it sounds just like that expensive system I put in the BMW. You obviously spec'd it from a factory. Um, but we did literally under seat subs, set of coaxials, key, tuned, job done. So a good, good um, hands-on install day today. If you, if you like that kind of stuff, you'll like this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up, give it a share, whatever. Do what you need to do. Let's get the channel going. More and more and more and more. That's what we need. Um, but I think I'm gonna shut up shop, go and pick the kids up, take them out for pizza. That's what we're doing tonight. So I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Um, what are we at, Friday tomorrow? Yes, yeah, Friday tomorrow. I have got a course I've booked in. Um, we've not had much luck with courses this week. And I did ring the guy and he's not answered or phoned me back. So I'm hoping he's not stitching, but I've got two houses, three houses to look at tomorrow. Um, so hopefully they're better than the ones we saw Wednesday because they were just shit. But I'll let you know anyway. But as soon as I've had pizza, I'll cut up a video and I'll see you all bright and early in the morning. Take care, fellas. Have a good evening. See you soon. Bye.